ladies and gentlemen, Mike, I got this, man. Welcome back to the fourth quarter here on Overtime on 91.5 KNHU. Let me turn that mic down a little bit. Sorry if I just didn't get speakers. All right, Mike. New Orleans Saints first round draft pick. Obviously, right now, all we can do is talk NFL year in and year out because that's all really. What else matters? NFL is always relevant. What else matters? Always, all before you know it. After this, it'll be mini camp. People will get cut. Then people will get waived. Who gets traded? What happens in the offseason? Who signs? Who doesn't sign? Who's doing well in workouts? Who's feeling? You know, it's an ongoing thing. It really is, and it, that's what's great. So long. That's what's great about it. You know, the you know it's possible we'll be and we can both talk at the same time. Well, I don't like you know to do how that. that goes. I don't yeah, like to do what that. What do you mean? Why not? Nah, man. It's... People, people can just like now we their, now we sound like take first take, poison, man. man. Then you sound like first take, oh, I, man, and then it's just a bunch of jibber jabber. No one knows what's going on. I mean, you try to watch first take anymore, and it's wait, These all right, two, who's saying the, what? The mediator has no control. In no, it's like a presidential debate from the fall. You know, there's no control, no control. First round draft pick, New Orleans Saints. Obviously, there's been a bunch of people saying who would go. I mean, if you look at what do the Saints need in this first round bat in this first round first round draft pick with the fifteenth pick overall? Uh, the NFL draft of course is set to take April twenty fifth of twenty thirteen. And what do you think the Saints need, Mike? Do you think they need a defensive player? Obviously the Saints had literally the worst defense in NFL history, giving up seven thousand and literally yards. Literally, NFL worst. And where what do you where do you like what do you like the Saints with that fifteenth pick? Look. I don't think it's possible they're going to get a dominant nose guard, which, to me, is the position you absolutely, without a doubt, need. Yeah. Especially in the in the 3-4, the nose guard is the most important piece. Yeah, got to have a great nose guard, a stud, a beast, a guy that doesn't care about making plays, that just cares about take, eating up double teams, let the mic on them, make, let Curtis Roth and run free and make some plays. I'm also seeing, you know... That's me in the corner. <laughs> I'm seeing several different options or ways they can go. I've also seen some talk about possibly an offensive tackle. I don't, I don't know. like it. I don't, like I don't it. either. I don't, I don't like either. It. Whether they sign Bushrod or not, I don't like it. I don't like it. Um, Young guys, offensive tackle. You're looking at Drew Brees. I think you need to keep that unit together that they've got. I think, obviously, Street has brought up some question marks that offensive line at the right tackle spot. But granted, I think this year, being a full-time starter for his second year, Granted, he's been the league one two years, but this will be his second time being a full-time starter for a season. I think you look at Street and you look at that Saints up front, Drew Brees is past the point where he needs to worry about having a, a young buck offensive lineman in front of him. I think you need to do what you can to keep that vet group in front. Yeah. You have to. Um, then, so, defensively, I think you have to go defensively first round. Especially, Jesus, we were terrible. Especially given the fact that we don't. The Saints don't have a second round pick. The Saints don't have so, a second. So I know you noted it on your uh, hefty and well thought out uh, overtime outline. Your yeah. rundown. I know the emails, look, dude. It's so much easier. Oh, I know. Email, man. I mean, we should just keep this going. So, because look, I already have them all logged. I just have to search overtime, and it's there. Yeah, you it's, know what I mean. It's great, man. So yeah. So, uh, Todd McShay. Yeah. He has the Saints grabbing... Who is Todd McShay? Mike? Todd, Todd McShay. Come on. Todd McShay, Mel Kiper, two of yes. Guys, I know who Todd McShay is. We're trying to, we're trying to talk Michael into... To <laughs> he thinks all of you should automatically know who Todd McShay is. Maybe it's arrogant, but I feel like you should. But anyway, so Todd, Todd, McShay. Todd McShay, Mel Kiper, they're the two biggest draft analysts in the world for the NFL. In the world. In the world. Um, you know, always give you the latest up-to-date information. Always putting out different mock drafts as they talk to different teams, see where they're going. But anyway, Todd McShay has the Saints taking Ezekiel Ansa. He Ezekiel Ansa. He's a defensive end slash outside linebacker from BYU. Again, a hybrid player, which <sighs> hybrid. hybrid. Yeah. Um, a hybrid player. Now, if you haven't taken a look at it, the Saints are switching to a three-four which is why we're talking so heavily on the nose guard. But anyway, Todd McShay has the Saints taking Ezekiel Ansa, the defensive end outside linebacker out of BYU. Which now, and I mean, if he's there, I think he will. But here's, you know, heard a couple people. Markevious Mingo, Kiki Mingo, defensive end out of 
Louisiana State University. The purple and gold. <laughs> the defense. If you guys don't know, LSU's college of purple and gold. Their mascot's a tiger. So, LSU being Louisiana State University. Now, Tiki Mingo. Defensive end. Killed his combine. Stud athlete. I believe came to friggin' LSU as like a safety linebacker. Uh, really, I think as a free safety or strong safety. And made the transition to defensive end. And he's, he boy put in work this year. But LSU has that predominant front 4-3 front, front. And he's been in a 4-3 front. Mike, Marquinius Mingo, Kiki Mingo. How do you feel about him in the Saints new scheme if he were to drop all the way down to 15? It'd be tough because, I mean, you look at the guys that are drafted in front of the Saints. I mean, really, you don't know who they could draft because they yeah. can all go everywhere. I mean, they're, they're in a tough spot. They pretty much have to base their selection off of Everybody other teams. else. Everybody else. 15 is not a good spot. 15 is not where you want to be. If you're in the top 10, that's a beautiful thing because you're looking at, and especially in a draft like this where there's so many different players getting drafted all over the place, you could, you know, if you need a position, chances are you'll be able to fill that. Now, now it's, it's, and it's a, in my eyes, it's a predominantly defensive heavy draft. Yeah, without a doubt, especially in the front seven, which is what the Saints need. Which is what really every, you can't go wrong no. adding to your front seven. Absolutely football. not. You cannot go wrong, and I think that's the Saints, if they were to go there. I now, there's be been great. talk about Kiki Mango possibly going in the top ten. Now, do you see him dropping to 15? And if he yeah. does, how do you see him fitting in the Saints system? I know you've mentioned a little outside I would take Kiki there. Mango. Yeah. Really? Speed rush. See, I don't know that he worries me. Granted, he, he does have questions. He's been in the four threes, a little light in the butt. Now, Montgomery. Is Montgomery supposed to go ahead of Kiki Mingo? I think so, yeah. Exactly. I'd like to see a Sam Montgomery Look, in the Saints. Either way you go, I'm all on board with system. Montgomery, Kiki Mingo, the guy now, I want to see. drafts, I mean drops, that'd be cool. I think. Yeah. Now, if Montgomery does drop along with Kiki Mingo, which I doubt will happen, who would you rather see get drafted? Out of those the Saints. <sighs> Montgomery. He's big. He's athletic. He's strong. He's nasty. Kiki's, Kiki's a finesse guy. He can play more of that... Nitty gritty, three he open, four D it. He can open up the gaps. Right, right. and do what it look. The D guy it. I want though. Yeah. Well, before we go off the air here, the guy I want is the guy that Mel Kiper has the Saints taking, right. and that's Sheriff Floyd. Let's He's about it. the He's nose guard. He's a defensive right. tackle out of Florida. Six three three zero three, dude. He is an absolute stud. Really getting some draft draft hype and draft stock. I don't think he'll be there personally, but if he were to drop. My God, that would be my Lauded, dream pick. Lauded, Miss Claudin. Mike's dream pick. You heard it, Sharif Floyd. Go look at Mel Kuyper's draft board. All kinds of good draft stuff going out there. Really, you just go Google NFL draft and you'll find some good stuff. Make sure you tune in tomorrow. Mike the Miz, Mike the Scherzi, I'm sorry, and I will be back on the air from 12 to 1. Tomorrow is obviously Mike's day at the helm, and we who knows what's going to happen. Make sure you check out the Hornets and Lakers game tonight. And, uh, you know, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you tomorrow here on Overtime. You're listening to 91.5 KNSU to the.